loving detachment. I talk to you often about detachment. Detachment being the ability to know that you are separate from another person, no matter how close they are to you. Learning how to detach will change your life and relationships. It will set you free. It will enable you to let go of your compulsion to force others to change, to make them be different, and allow you to focus instead on becoming the person that you need to be. Detaching with love means that you stay engaged in the relationship, caring about the other person, being able to be courteous and kind while allowing them to make their own choices and recognizing that you are different and separate from that person no matter how closely intertwined your lives are, no matter if it's your spouse or your child. I have a really good friend who often speaks for me um, as one of my testimonies in the classes that I teach and uh, she has uh, described married to an alcoholic has described detachment this way and I'm going to give you her examples because they're just so good and they help you see in action what practical detachment really is and married to an alcoholic who drinks a lot but who um, she still loves this is the way that she puts this into action. She says, detachment means I can be loving and respectful, but let go of the things that are not mine to handle, such as my husband's choice to drink or not. The days when I used to pace in front of the window, waiting for him to come home, night after night after night are gone. I don't track him during the day or call him when he should be leaving the office or nag him about when he needs to be home. It's really powerful. Next one, detachment means I don't need to attend to every single argument I am invited to. I can kindly busy myself doing something else or even remove myself from the situation completely or the area without engaging, without arguing, without commenting. It doesn't mean I storm out of the room and stomp my feet in anger. It means I graciously make a choice to not get drawn into the argument. The next one, detachment is loving myself enough to realize that I don't need to control, convict, or criticize anyone else. It's loving the other person enough to let him or her, in this case my husband, choose to be who he wants to be and live according to his dictates. Detachment means I don't need to point out my husband's faults. He knows his as I know mine. I can allow him the dignity to deal with them in his way and his time. I also don't have to take them personally. Detachment means I'm not constantly worried about what others are thinking of me because that's none of my business and I can give my busy mind a rest. Detachment means I don't need to feel responsible when people or my husband fail at something. I don't need to figure out how to fix it, what to do about it. It's not my issue. It's theirs. Detachment can be taking a walk with the dog, taking, turning my phone off, doing whatever I need to do to get my mind and my soul at peace and to give me time to turn my situation and my life over to God. Detachment is a valuable lesson that I can learn and then show my kids so that they can see me practicing as long as I do it with love. By stepping away from something or someone I have no control over, I will help them, my children, identify healthy ways of coping with things that they cannot control. As you can see, these are examples of how you actually put detachment into practice. It can be very loving. It can bring a lot of dignity in your into your relationship. It still means you care, still means you love, still means you're engaged in the relationship. It just means that you recognize that you can take care of yourself, allow the other person to take care of themselves, allow the other person to make their decisions, you make yours, you can disengage from all the stuff that's going on. Doesn't mean you can't ever set boundaries, doesn't mean you can't ever speak the truth in love. All of these principles work together. So I hope you've enjoyed those examples uh, that my friend gives about how she puts detachment into her life in very specific ways. Thank you for watching this video on Change My Relationship.